With just 105 days until the election, the Trump campaign is shifting its strategy, is now focusing all of its attention on Vice President Harris. CBS's Robert Costa reports. Donald Trump's last public rally was on Saturday, but today from Mar-a-Lago, he held a conference call with reporters and took aim at his new target, Vice President Harris. He called her radical, falsely claimed she wants open borders, and accused her of aggressively attacking President Biden's record on race and busing in a debate five years ago. There was nobody nastier than her. She played the race card at a level that you rarely see. And she really was very nasty to him, and then he picked her, so I don't, I don't get that exactly. Republicans are eager to define Harris on their terms. Vice presidential nominee J.D. Vance claimed Harris lied about President Biden's health and questioned her love of country. If you want to lead this country, you should feel grateful for it. You should feel a sense of gratitude. And I never hear that gratitude come through when I listen to Kamala Harris. Vance has long criticized Democrats. We're effectively run in this country via the Democrats, via, via our corporate oligarchs, by a bunch of childless cat ladies. Who are and often and with scorn. Fact. You look at Kamala Harris, Pete Buttigieg, AOC, the entire future of the Democrats is controlled by people without children. Congressional Republicans have already made sharp comments alluding to Harris's race. A lot of Democrats feel they have to stick with her um, because of her ethnic background. Tennessee Republican Tim Burchett has used the term DEI, which stands for diversity, equity, and inclusion. 100%. She was a DEI hire. DNC Chairman Jamie Harrison says Democrats will push back hard. We are going to make sure that the American people understand who is the party of intolerance, who is a party uh, that is uh, anti-diversity in this nation. And late today, there was a sign of more attacks to come. A House Republican filed articles of impeachment against Vice President Harris, citing the administration's record on immigration. And other House Republicans are calling on her to invoke the 25th Amendment to remove President Biden from office. Nora. Robert Costa, thank you very much.